Thank you, uh, President uh, Valenza. I'm Dan Rundy. I'm a senior vice president here at CSIS. I want to officially welcome you to the Center for Strategic and International Studies. It's an honor to have you here in Washington. It's an honor to have you here at CSIS. President Valenza was my childhood heroes, so this is a great personal privilege for me. So I'm very, very grateful. Given your life story, you have unique moral authority and you deserve our attention. If you're in this room, you know who President Valenza is, but a few of you may not know who he is. President Valenza was the founder of Solidarity, a labor union in Poland. A devout Catholic who believes in human freedom and understood that communism is a great evil and not something to appease, Lech Valenza led a movement in Poland that broke the back of a communist dictatorship. He spent time in jail and endured years of harassment and hardship. He was elected in a free and fair election as the first non-communist in more than 40 years in Poland. He won the Nobel Peace Prize for his commitment to freedom. President Reagan, the great American labor leader Lane Kirkland, Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, and Pope John Paul the Great all supported solidarity and the people of Poland when history called. Of course, the freedom of Poland was won by Poles like President Valenza, who wanted a different future, a future tied to Europe and the West, a future where Poles could make their own choices of where to live, what jobs they wanted to have, and what lives they wanted to build. Today, Poland is a member of the European Union and a member of NATO. Poland is an amazing success story. Poland is a model of development for Ukraine. Poland is a burden sharer on security and is a responsible global stakeholder. Poland is sharing a large part of the collective burden on Ukraine, hosting millions of migrants, providing weapons and aid at a higher rate than most countries. Like Poland, Ukraine wants to be free. Like Poland, Ukraine wants to be a part of Europe and the West. Unfortunately, at this time, America is a bit discouraged. We're a little bit tired. Some of my fellow Americans are tempted to take a sabbatical, a vacation from global leadership. I haven't met any Americans who say they want to hand over global leadership to the Chinese Communist Party. And I haven't met any Americans who want to hand it over to Vladimir Putin's murderous regime. But they're tempted, there's a temptation to take a sabbatical on global leadership. The world doesn't work like that. But we're, as a result of this, we're making excuses. We're delaying. We prefer not to think about the consequences of failure in Ukraine because we want the sabbatical, or some of us want a sabbatical. It's a mistake. It's a terrible, terrible error. But we're not the only ones making excuses. There are those countries that are also making excuses. Those are the countries that are voting in ways at the United Nations that betray Ukraine with the kinds of lies and dodges like, well, we buy our weapons from Russia. Or Ukraine is far away from where we are and we have our own problems. History will judge those countries poorly. And history is watching us. In addition, our adversaries are going to seek to fill the vacuum we're leaving behind because we're discouraged in this temptation to take a sabbatical. They delight in our delay. Let me name them. There's Vladimir Putin and his murderous regime in Russia. Xi Jinping and his Chinese Communist Party are financing the Russian war machine. China wants Russia to win because if Russia wins in Ukraine, then it makes it far easier for the Chinese Communist Party to invade Taiwan. Let's be very clear. What happens in Ukraine is not going to stay in Ukraine. There's also the Iran's terrorist regime, the most odious regime. I hate that regime. It's, it's supplying weapons and it tightens its partnership with Russia. North Korea's horrific communist dictatorship, which has killed millions of its own people by starvation, has a new partnership with Russia, sending hundreds of thousands of artillery shells to help Russia in its war against Ukraine. 
This Star Wars bar of thug regimes is what we're up against. So President Valencia, your timing of coming to Washington is really good. We welcome you here. As I said, you have moral authority, but in many ways, you're a voice from another age calling us to act with historic responsibility on Ukraine. I'm here to listen. I know this audience is here to listen. I hope all of the stakeholders in Washington and in Congress will listen to you too. Welcome to CSIS, and I'm going to turn the floor over to my friend Max Bergman and to you, President Valenza, for a conversation. Thank you. Good. Well, th thank you, Dan. I'm Max Bergman. I'm the director of the Europe-Russia Eurasia Program in the Stewart Center here at CSIS. Uh, and Mr. President, let me turn the floor over to you. What, what brings you to Washington? Because you invited me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> I, I, I was saying, you know, hurry up because I'm already 80. <laughs> and I'm hoping that uh, I'll make it here in time. I like it here. <laughs> so, now that you're here, and I'm sorry if our invitation got lost in the mail over the past years. Thank you so much for that long we lost it. The invitation just went somewhere on the road. Do you have a message that you're bringing to Congress, to the American people, when it comes specifically to Ukraine? Concretely, in terms of Ukraine. Dear friends, in the pokolenie our change. Ladies and gentlemen, in the uh, relay of history, relay of generations, it's time for change. There have been many changes across generations. My generation was given two big tasks. The first, the first task given to my generation was to demolish the old system of the world. And we jointly accomplished that. But that demolition job was basically in order to build something new. Well, we didn't demolish it all the way because Russia and China were left. But um, based on the changes that happened then, the demolition could not have been, uh, couldn't be accomplished at the time. Today, it is possible. Look, the whole world has joined together against Russia. That has never been like this. It's our great opportunity, finally, to put some order into this world. But uh, fate has given America the role of the leader in these changes. And the U.S. cannot retreat now if the U.S. does not take this opportunity, take advantage of this opportunity, our grandchildren will never forgive us. Both, we have both Russia and China uh, within grasp. We, we can uh, put them in our fist. But as a revolutionary, I believe we have to change our ways of struggle. I, my job was difficult. Because uh, in my time there was the Soviet Union and the Warsaw Pact, which made the situation even more difficult than Ukraine is facing now with Russia. I would have lost if I fought with rockets and bullets. I fought mainly with propaganda. And today, in this struggle that we are facing today, the United States must do a better job fighting with propaganda. In simple ways, 
rozpoznać całe środowisko rosyjskie. First of all, uh, get good you must get good uh, in, information about the Russian public. I notować wszystkie te, które Rosjanie giną. Please write down uh, every piece of information about every Russian casualty. And a lot of them are dying and being uh, injured. If propagandzie waszej powinno być. And your propaganda must include that. Rosjanie Zobacz, twojego sąsiada już say, nie ma. Hey, you, the Russian, już... look at your neighbor, he's no longer there. Putin he's go już załatwił. Putin had him a, die for him. A sąsiadka, która mieszka And pod tobą, jej syn już nie żyje. Your neighbor, the lady from downstairs, her son is already dead from the war too. Jutro będziesz ty. Tomorrow it's going to be you. Czekaj na, na, na wezwanie. Just wait for your conscription notice to come. Chcesz ginąć? Do you want to die? No to słuchaj. Posłuchaj Otherwise, nas doświadczonych. Listen to us. We have experience. Musisz zmienić you system have to polityczny. System. Naczelnik państwa Rosji Chin nie może mieć Russian więcej jak dwie kadencje pięcioletnie. More than cannot have more than five year terms in office. Jak to zmienicie, my wam pomożemy. Będziecie spokojnie dostatnio żyć i my będziemy spokojnie wam żyć. In prosperity and we will all live in peace. Bo metody te, które dzisiaj idą siłowe, rakietami. Because the methods using force, using rockets that we are using now. Przy pomocy świata Ukraina może wygrać. Yes, Ukraine with the world's help, Ukraine can win. Ale za 20 lat Rosja się podniesie i znów zaatakuje. Russia will rise again and attack again. Tak przez wieki bywało. It's been this way for ages. Mamy wreszcie szansę na uporządkować świat. Today we finally have an opportunity to put order into the world. Jeśli tego nie zrobicie, if you don't do this, posłuchajcie rewolucjonistów. And listen to me, the revolutionary. Jutro Rosja sięgnie po was. Russia will come for you. Bo to jest ta, to są tacy ludzie. Because that's how those people act. I dlatego w interesie bezpieczeństwa stanów. So. For that reason, it is in American interest. It is in America's interest and in the world's interest. To, 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 wisely conduct the struggle further solidarity with your president, in solidarity with your president, in conjunction with Europe, but calmly, peacefully, through propaganda. I przy pomocy środków, bo, bo tam ci walczą. And of course with weapons, because the Ukrainians are fighting right now. Ale więcej na propagandę. But put more effort into propaganda. Zwyciężymy. And then we will win. I potem jestem, żeby was zachęcić. So that's why I am here to encourage you. Nie cofajcie się. Don't retreat. Bo popsujecie szansę. If you do, you will waste this opportunity. Więc Stany muszą przewodzić. The United States has to lead. A jeśli nie chcecie, oddajcie to Polsce, my to poprowadzimy. If you don't want to lead, give it to us and we, Poland, will, will lead. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, let me ask you about, about the, the messaging and narrative. I think many here in Washington, I think also around Europe, and many in Eastern Europe view Russia as a lost cause, and the Russian people as a lost cause, that Russia is the way it is, the regime won't change, and trying to convince them that the regime is, is, is bankrupt and, and foolhardy and that they should pursue different leadership won't result in anything. What would you say to that critique? But you have tangible proof. We also used to fight with Ukraine. Uh, there was a lot of shooting going on. But now look at, look at how friendly we are with Ukraine. The Poles and Ukrainians remember about each other's blood. It was shed in the past, we want to build without it. We embraced uh, the Ukrainian refugees. As many as they came, we received them. And uh, 
this can happen with Russia as well. Jeśli posłuchacie mnie i tej postępowania Solidarności. To my advice and if you listen to Solidarity's experience. Drugi dowód. Second proof. Z, e z Europy wyszły dwie wojny światowe. Two world wars came out of Europe. Ile rewolucji? And how many revolutions? But just did we granice in Europe? But look, we removed borders in Ukraine. In, in Europe, sorry. Z, do, z, z, do, z dobrym zawodem każdy może w każdym państwie pracować. And everybody within Europe can work in any other European country. I może krwi kosztowało, ale dziś jest spokój, spokój dobrze. Yes, blood was shed in the past, but now it's peace. Z Rosją to trochę dłużej będzie trwało. It's going to take longer a little ale, with Russia. Ale to są gwarancje i przykłady, że tak but, to się dzieje. Uh, you have proof, you have examples that guarantee that this is how this, it can be changed. Ludzie zachowują się jak zbiorniki z wodą. People act as uh, connected uh, water tanks. Jeśli jest różnica w rozwoju do wodospad Niagara. If there is a change there, there's a difference in level of development. There is a Niagara Falls of water jeśli, flowing from one to the other. Się, nic nie dzieje but poziomy. if you uh, have two tanks with equal level of water Więc in each, it's peaceful. Wyrównywajmy poziomy Let's rozwoju, będzie pokój, spokój i dobrobyt. Levels of development in various countries, in all the countries, and Peace will come. I nasze pokolenie zaczęło our, wielką pracę w tym kierunku. Our generation started this great uh, march in that direction. Europa wyrównała się. Uh, Europe has even itself out. A teraz trzeba na globalne prowadzenie przez Stany Zjednoczone. That uh, with the US um, it needs to be an, an broadened to I, the whole world. I nie, nie, wo nie wojować za cały świat Amerykanie. Let's not have Americans fight for dawać. all of uh, the world. Let, it doesn't have to be that the U.S. pays with its dollars for everybody else in the world. Rozwiązania w tematu, które nas dziś you have to prepare solutions to topics that are important right now in o, the world. Na żyjemy. Otherwise, we will destroy the civilization in which we now live. Że w takim punkcie. This is the moment we are at. Wiele cywilizacji na ziemi było podobnych i zniszczyły się. Many civilizations in the past have crumbled. Bo zapomniały o przewodzeniu. Because somewhere along the way they forgot about leadership. I my idziemy w tym samym kierunku. And we are heading in the same direction. Jeśli stanie się nie wezmą za przewodzenie, zniszczymy. We will destroy our civilization unless the United States ja już tego nie będę oglądać, będę z góry patrzył na was. Going, I won't even see it anymore. I'll be looking from above as, as you do it. To mam 80 lat. Because I'm 80. Następne. I want to go back to your experience with solidarity and maybe pull some of the lessons learned that you have from, from that experience. And the, I guess the, the the overarching question I have is that when you launched Solidarity and you were not just standing up against the Polish government, but against essentially the Soviet empire, I would imagine many here in Washington or other Western European capitals thought you had no chance of success and thought you were crazy. How could you possibly think to take on this colossal power? At the time, did you th imagine, now that you look back as, as someone who's 80, at the success that you would have, the success of Poland? Was that in your mind in the, in the early 1980s when you, or what were you thinking how, <laughs> at, the, at the time? I am a practitioner. I don't have anything against theories and wisdom. Tylko, że teoretycy i mądrzy ludzie mówili mi, że nie mam szans. But theoreticians told me, they kept telling me, we have no chance to win. I czym mądrzejszy, tym bardziej mówi, nie ma szans. And the wiser a man was, the more convinced he was that we have no ja, chance of winning. A ja praktycznie, co to nie ma szans? But Musi I told them, what do you mean? There has to be a way. I dlatego ja z teorii wybieram to, so, co mi się przyda. I pick those theories 
that are useful to me. I to, co można What can be implemented, I wyrzucam. take and I cast away everything else. I oczywiście, praktycznie to widać cały świat. And um, now let's look at the whole world. A błąd polega nas na tym, że Our mistake technikę, którą budujemy, za techniką nie is, zdąża struktury organizacyjne. Our mistake is that uh, organizational structures don't keep up with technological advances. I patrzcie, dziś ekologia, no, uh, environmental protection, pandemia, and pandemic. Telewizje satelitarne Satellite television. wyprzedziły nasze zorganizowanie. They are ahead of our ability to org organize. Żaden kraj w tym stanie nie poradzą sobie z tymi tematami no sam, same. No single country, including the United States, can handle these big global issues. I co praktyka mi podpowiada? So what practice tells me? Paru mądrych ludzi w Stanach. Let's get a few wise people from the US. Siada do okrągłego stołu. Siada do okrągłego stołu. Oh, and let's put them around the round table, a round table. Dostaje trzy zadania. And let's give them three tasks. Pierwsze zadanie, widzicie, musimy powiększyć do tej technologii struktury. We have to develop Musimy. bigger structures to handle the uh, technology that has emerged. Musimy z Europy zrobić jeden organizm. Uh, out of Europe, there needs to be one organism. Ale jak to zrobić, jak tak pokłóceni są? But how to do this when uh, everybody is quarreling with each jak, other? Taka różnica w rozwoju and między państwami. And there are państwami. such jak to big zrobić? differences in development Więc between countries. Pierwsze, how to organize pierwsze pytanie dla so praktyka jest. So the first question jest, for a practitioner, for men of Jaki fundament ma nas połączyć, żebyśmy zaczęli budować? What, what should be the foundation for us to unite? Jeden na takich spotkaniach pytam się, no jaki fundament dla Europy i jutro pod globalizacji? Pojawiają się dwa, dwie propozycje fundamentu, które nas połączy. Połowa świata chce fundamentu wszelkiego typu wolności, wolny rynek i prawo. Some people, half of the world wants freedoms freedom of the market freedoms and others as the foundation. And the second half of the world say, no, this is not a good solution. First, we need to uh, figure out what the values are that should guide us. And only then the law and the free market. And two groups of wise men are arguing about these two methods and they can't uh, come to a common uh, solution. But even after this debate is uh, settled, we will face another challenge. What economic system what economic system should uh, be used in global economy? Jak wiecie, są dwa systemy ekonomiczne duże. As you know, there are two big economic systems. Komunistyczny i kapitalistyczny. Communist and capitalist. Teoretycznie lepiej wygląda komunizm. In theory, communism may seem better. Stąd ma, ma młodzi ludzie nabierają się na pomysł komunistyczny na Zachodzie. Why many young people in the West are foolish enough to believe global, they're global and they believe in communism. A dlaczego tam jest ładnie napisane sprawiedliwości, równości? Because uh, in communist theory there are all these nice sentences about justice to what you and equality, but it only looks good. Nie, nie wiedzą, że się nie da zrealizować. But they don't, what people don't know is that it is not implementable. Dlatego odrzućcie to. That is why I say reject it. Zostaje kapitalizm. So communism is left on the table. Ale, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, capitalism is left on the table. Ale wiecie, kapitalizm to rywalizacja. But you know, capitalism means competition. Często nieuczciwa. Sometimes, oftentimes, um, unfair. Ktoś nazwał wyścig szczurów między państwami. Somebody said there is um, a race of rats, a rat race between countries. Wielu ludzi nie wytrzymuje reacji na bezrobocie odpada. Many people uh, become unemployed because they can't make it in this um, in this environment. Więc nowy kapitalizm ma zostawić gospodarkę wolnorynkową. So this new capitalism and free market. A wszystko inne inaczej ustawić. 
we keep that, but we have to come up with a whole new layer of uh, system. A bezrobotnych odszukać i do roboty zagonić. We have to find the unemployed and uh, make them work. Oczywiście opłacalne i mądre. Make them work uh, with good wages and uh, wisely. W starym kapitalizmie było to niemożliwe, bo rywalizacja, wyścig. In old capitalism it was impossible because of this rat race and this constant competition. Jeśli budujemy kontynenty i globalizację, to koniec takiego wyścigu. But if we build globalization and organize at continent level, then there is no more space for rat race among the countries. I trzeci problem, jaki zdefiniowałem? And the third issue that I have defined Jak sobie poradzić z demagogią, populizmem i oszustwami polityków w tej skali wielkiej? Is how to deal with demagoguery and the lying politicians. Oczywiście pamiętając, że do końca XX wieku we have to remember that up until the end of the 20th century, narody, narody wyprzedzały się, nie przyznawały się, ale miały w świadomości społecznej Pana Boga. Nations, uh, sometimes they wouldn't even admit it, but they would always have God in their in their heads. On był w taki sam przy wszystkich. God was uh, in everyone's mind. Od, odeszliśmy od tego. But we have walked away from that. Baliśmy się komuny Związku Sowieckiego. We feared communism and the Soviet Union. Poradziliśmy sobie. And we managed to overcome those challenges. How to now block nations that ha seem to have no breaks? To są problemy, jakie stanęły przed wami. These are the challenges that you are now facing. I zapamiętajcie, że wszystkie struktury, które były w tamtej epoce, partie polityczne nie pasują na dzisiejsze czasy. All the structures, remember, all the structures that existed in the past, political parties and similar, are no longer applicable. Dziś partie lewicowe są bardziej prawicowe, jak prawicowe i odwrotnie. Today, the leftist parties have become right, right wing, and the rightist parties become, became left wing. Trzeba na nowo zdefiniować lewicę, prawicę na te czasy. If you want, you have to redefine the left, redefine the right for these times. A najśmieszniej wyglądają partie chrześcijańskie. And the Christian parties look funny. Krzyczą, chrześcijańskie jesteśmy. They keep shouting, we are Christian. A tam nie ma ani jednego wierzącego. But uh, there are no believers among them. <laughs> to tak nie może być. It cannot be that way. Tylko jedną strukturę mamy ze starej epoki, która pasuje na dziś. There is only one structure from the past that fits this world of today. Wiecie co? You know what it is? Przepis o ruchu drogowym. Road traffic regulations. <laughs> a, ta, a tak mam, jakbyśmy zdjęli znaki i przepis z ulic. Tak wygląda świat. And uh, other than that, this is, the, this is what uh, um, we are facing in the world. Jedna epoka upadła, a druga nie powstała. One epoch has ended, but another one hasn't started. Nasze pokolenie jest po środku. Our generation is in, in this transition period. I ja te po środku nazywam epoka słowa, dyskusji, jak to ma być przyszłość. And so I call this current um, stage, the stage of discussion and debate jaka rola, about jaka rola what the future Zjednoczonych. should be like including what the United States role in the world should be. Ponieważ nie, nie ma rozwiązań, to politycy demagodzy do, do głosu dochodzą. Because there is a um, dearth of solutions being offered. There is not enough solutions being offered. The demagogues come to power. My kiepsko wybraliśmy kiedyś. Uh, recently, um, we made a bad, bad, bad choice. I u was też coś tu widzę. And in your country, I also see mm, some poor choices are being made. <laughs> Dyskutujcie szybko, żebyście Please. nie popełnili błędu podobnego jak Polacy. Uh, do discuss it amongst yourself quickly so that you avoid the mistakes made by Poland recently. Nie zdążamy z mądrymi rozwiązaniami na obecne czasy, demagodzy prowadzą. If we don't act quickly enough, e in coming up with good solutions for the current times, demagogues win. Amen. Amen. Let me, <laughs> let me ask you about uh, Vladimir Putin in Russia. You mentioned that communism has sort of been dropped from the table, and I think that's, that's true in, in Russia. 
yet the you know Putin is entering his now 25th year in in power and the Soviet era security apparatus seems very much still in power and having faced that down when you were leading solidarity how do you see Russia today is is this regime in in the Kremlin incredibly stable how do you perceive it and and where do what do you think its future is for what I've been saying to people I, I guess I've been saying the right things because the Russians uh, put a bounty of five million dollars on my head and it may become 10 after this meeting because of that I'm convinced this generation uh, this new generation was given Putin, a great gift Putin through his mistakes Putin has united the world against Russia the world never had an opportunity like this please let's use that for peaceful propagandistic or propaganda based uh, uh, way of winning solidarity proved that it's possible I said and I'll say it again we, our situation was worse than what we are facing today the whole Warsaw Pact was against us and the Soviet Union was against us but we won without a single shot being fired now let's look at the problem of Ukraine and Russia all I'm saying don't come back to the old methods of struggle it's not the time to, to fight that way because the, the Ukrainians are fighting we have to help them fight but more effort needs to be placed on propaganda effort keep writing down who dies in Russia and uh, who is their neighbor and write letters to the neighbors of, of those who died you liked your neighbor he's gone uh, or you like your neighbor her son is gone do you want to continue this, this way it's not about Putin it's about Putin's circle to nie, nie będą się opowiadać za, za, za bandytyzmem. Bo, bo przegrają po 10 latach i będą rozliczeni. If a Russian head of government only had 10 years to rule, they wouldn't follow the strategy as they are now because they would have to get, uh, gain the benefits within only two terms of five, five, five years. I w tym pokoleniu mamy szansę na uporządkowanie świata. So this is how we can uh, reorder the world Pod under the, the United States Kurze, leadership. Kurze się if only the US wanted to do this, we can have a beautiful world. Two years ago, uh, at this very moment, there was a lot of concern here in Washington that Russia was going to invade Ukraine. Um, and the presumption was that Ukraine, if Russia invaded, would only have days, that the Ukrainian military would be destroyed, uh, and there was uh, some urging as, as Russia invaded for, for President Zelensky to, to leave the capital. I want to ask you what, you what you were thinking two years ago uh, when Russia invaded. Was this... A, a shock to you? Were you surprised at how the Ukrainians uh, responded in standing up to the military invasion? If you could 
Give me your reaction to... Ukraine as a courageous people. And uh, their bravery su surprised all of us in the world. But uh, their bravery goes with technology. Let's help those courageous people. If we don't help the Soviets change their own system, they will keep treading on us. When, when it happened, uh, I immediately uh, told the Ukrainians that I'm at their disposal. I told them, I'm ready to travel to you. But uh, I wasn't understood. I thought they, um, I think that they thought that I told them that I am ready to fight with weapons or a bow. <laughs> but no, I offered my help as a Nobel Prize winner. I thought we would organize a group of uh, Nobel laureates or a group of generals and uh, distinguished representatives of other countries in solidarity assist Ukraine. Initiative was not um, started. But if we did start that, uh, that initiative, I would be sitting with them right now then, rather than with you. Let me ask you about uh, relations between Ukraine and Poland and the rest of Europe. There's been some tension uh, especially farmers, in, not just in Poland, but in, across Europe, having let Ukrainian agriculture products into the European Union. And, and I think there's been some growing concern in Europe about what it would take to actually bring Ukraine into the European Union. How do you assess that, those disputes that have emerged? There are some problems, but uh, look at what I proposed 40 years ago, knowing that we would eventually face these challenges, I said this, uh, plane or balloon or something else and rise yourself above the borders of, of Europe. Look, look at Europe and see what God gave to each of these nations. And let them specialize in uh, what they have. For example, France, God gave France good grapes. <laughs> so we will drink French wines. The Italians were given great uh, artifacts of history, great landmarks. Okay, so let them make money on tourism. Holland was not given a lot by God. <laughs> but one thing God gave Poland. Because God is just. God gave us Poles, the be, middle of Europe. To będzie najbliżej z Berlina do Moskwy, najprościej. <clears throat> this would be uh, um, right in the middle between Russia, between I Par, uh, between I Berlin I and Moscow, najbliżej. as well as in um, north, south axis. A więc perspektywicznie będzie 15 torów kolejowych. So, uh, looking forward, uh, there will be 15 uh, parallel railroad tracks and 15 uh, roads. Um, and so, yes, that uh, position cannot be taken away from us. And so this is the way to approach uh, what we are now facing. God gave Ukraine good soil. They don't have to fertilize it. And they have the best soil in, the, in Europe. They, 
They don't have to fertilize it. No, tak, ale co z naszym rolnictwem? So now the question becomes, well, what about Poland's więc, agriculture? Więc na te tematy trzeba popatrzeć tak, żebyśmy jedli dobrą, zdrową żywność. But basically we have to look at it this way. We have to think about how to make sure that we can all eat healthy food. A tych naszych rolników przedstawić tak, żeby to było płacalne. Let's just shift our agricultural workers or uh, farmers in such a way that it all becomes uh, still profitable. Coraz bardziej idziemy w kierunku robot robotyzacji, roboty. We are getting closer and closer toward um, more robotization. A więc jutro każdy z nas będzie miał dublera robo robota. Every one of us will have a, a double who is a robot soon. I będzie mu dyskietkę wkładał do roboty, a my będziemy balować. We'll just uh, party around while the, our robots will do the work. No, idziemy w tym kierunku. It is, is where things are heading. Tylko to trzeba mądrze, spokojnie But popatrzeć w możliwości i szanse. Quietly and wisely look for the right opportunities. Samo się nie zrobi. You won't make Trzeba, już mówiłem Państwu, trzeba krajów przywódców, którzy prowadzą said, rozwiązania. There to be to be that are I w sprawach globalnych powinny mieć rozwiązania Stany. And the US should provide solutions for global issues. Kontynentalne, jak w Europie, Niemcy, Francja, Włochy. Let France, Italy and Germany uh, propose solutions for, continent, for the continent of Europe. Jeśli nie posłuchacie starego Wałęsa, zniszczymy cywilizację, w której żyjemy. If you don't listen to old Wałęsa, we will destroy our civilization. Bo, bo coraz większe niebezpieczeństwa, brak rozwiązań. Because there are more and more challenges, more and more threats, and a lack of solutions. Jak zniszczymy, to 500 lat nie będzie życia na Ziemi. If we keep on going this way, we will destroy it. There will be no more life in 500 years on the earth. Przyszą nam Adama i Ewę i od nowa zaczniemy. And they'll send us another Adam and Eve and we'll start all over. Może tak. Maybe. Jako rewolucjonista i taką koncepcję muszę widzieć. As a revolutionary, I have to foresee this. Let me ask you about the early about the 1990s and when you were president and Poland had had gained its its independence the Warsaw Pact had had dissolved and Poland set out determined to have a, a European future to belong to the European Union and NATO and was successful but Ukraine did not succeed in, in pursuing that path. Do you, when you look back on that time, do you, was there more that could have been done to try to bring Ukraine or maybe Russia even along? Or how do you, how do you sort of reassess uh, the period when you were president? Because I can do I am. I have something to blame my, myself for. Dlatego tak bardzo pomaga mnie się Ukrainie. I, uh, I help Ukraine now, these days, so much because. Bo w mojej koncepcji mieliśmy razem wejść do Unii, do NATO, Ukraina, Białoruś, Polska. Initially, I wanted Poland to enter NATO uh, with Belarus and Ukraine together. Ko ja zostawiłem ten ruch na drugą kadencję prezydencką. I uh, had planned to do this during my second term in office. I przegrałem but, kadencję. But I lost my re-election campaign. I upadła koncepcja. And that whole idea uh, was put aside. Polsce udało się usiąść do Unii, do NATO. Poland fled to NATO and the European Union. Ukraina została. Ukraine was left behind. I dlatego, gdyby Polska nie uciekła, to dziś by Polska miała wojnę z Ukrainą, a nie Ukrainą, z Rosją. I think that if Poland did not succeed in joining NATO and the European Union, it would be Poland today having war with Russia. A więc czujemy się sprawcą trochę tego. We are some sort of feeling as it's our fault. Bo tak musiałoby być. Because that's how things would have to be. Rosja bardziej nie kochała Polski niż Ukrainy. 
uh, Russia actually uh, disliked Poland even more than więc, it dislikes a, a Ukraine. A więc gdzieś byśmy się strzelali my it uh, would be uh, us uh, and the Russians shooting each other. Ukraina now. zajęła nasze miejsce. But Ukraine took our place. I stąd trzeba być wszystko by pomóc Ukrainie. Yes. So za dzielny for that naród. reason we have to ha do Walczą everything we za can. nas i dla nas. We have to do everything we can to help Ukraine. Russia, what a courageous people they are. They fight for their freedom and ours. A przyjemnością by Rosja dożyła Stanom Zjednoczonym? Z jaką przyjemnością by uderzyła na Stany Zjednoczone? Uh, Russia would be happy to strike at America. By przyjemność miała w tym. They would enjoy it. I dlatego wiedząc o tym, nie dajmy się sprowokować, nie dajmy się pokonać Rosji. And now, because we know this, we should not allow ourselves, allow ourselves to lose this situation. Don't let, us ourse don't let ourselves be provoked, but let's not lose this opportunity. Lepsza okazja nam się nie zdarzy. There will never be a better chance. Nie popsujcie okazji. Don't waste this chance. Ja wykorzystałem maksymalnie przy uh, waszej pomocy. I used my opportunity to the with z, your help. Rozwaliśmy układ warszawski. We dismantled Związek the Sowiecki. Warsaw Pact. Got rid of the Zadanie Soviet Union. Dalej nie można było. We couldn't do any more in that Było zbyt niebezpiecznie. It was too difficult, too dangerous. A dzisiaj możemy dokończyć. But now we can finish it off. I ja na to liczę. And I am counting on that. No, ale bez Stanów tego nie zrobimy. But we won't Uh, manage doing it without the United States help. Więc macie historyczną odpowiedzialność. You have historical opportunity and responsibility. Za świata i za siebie. For your own interest and in the interest of the world. We will have time for a, a couple of questions. Let me just ask you. This is a, a, this is an important day in Washington. The Senate is currently. Uh, debating on how to proceed on Ukraine assistance. Uh, what is your message to Capitol Hill? I think we've heard a lot of it today from you, but if, if you were to tell senators that are on the fence or members of Congress in the House, what, what would you say? propaganda. <laughs> Listen to my advice. Pay more attention to strong propaganda solutions. Uh, use peaceful mm, ways. Of course, you have to continue supporting the military aid because they are shooting each other. But devote more resources to propaganda. Even so, when you establish, when you start with uh, that strategy. Even the adversaries of this of the current policy will join you. Czy myślicie, gdybym ja zaczął strzelać w tamtym czasie, byście mi pomogli? Looking back, would you have helped me if back in the 80s I were shooting, uh, I were using, I was using weapons? Świat mi pomógł, że to było pokojowe, propagandowe. The world, the world helped me then because my ways were peaceful. I tu trzeba na to przejść. And uh, you have to focus on those methods. Ja się boję, że jakieś takie lobby chce siłowo to po staremu rozwiązywać. I worry that there's, a, there's some lobby that wants to solve this problem through military ways only. Chcą zarabiać na wojowaniu. They want to make money on uh, military spending. Osłabić Rosję na 20-30 lat. Which would weaken Russia for another 20 or 30 years. I zarabiać na odbudowaniu. And then they would make money on rebuilding. I dlatego zaproponują pokojowe jakieś rozwiązania. Uh, they will uh, trouble propose some peaceful solutions. A moje wnuki będą musiały znów za 20 lat walczyć. And my grandchildren would have to fight Russia again in 20 years. Skończmy z tym. Let's finish this cycle. Świat jest piękny. The world is beautiful. A Rosja jako piękna. Russia is beautiful too. Ale pokojowa. But when it is peaceful. Pomóżmy Rosji być pokojową. Help Russia be peaceful. Ale nie czołgami. Not by tanks. Przekonaniem wewnętrznym. Convince them. Let them internalize what needs to be done. I do tego zachęcam i namawiam. So that's what I'm advocating for.
Thank you. If there are any questions from the audience, yes, sir, down here. There, there's a microphone that is coming. And if you uh, introduce yourself and uh, keep it to a question. Alexis Sapchenko, representative of the uh, Russian Shadow Parliament. Mr. President, thank you very much for your wonderful words. You mentioned that we need to convince Russians, and the propaganda is also important. But I also would like to say that there are plenty of Russians who hate Putin, fight against Putin, and they basically find no support in this town because everybody is against regime change here. Now that's the motto. Would you please encourage people here to talk, to, to support Russian opposition? By the way, they have a center in Warsaw too. Thank you. I say that because in terms of propaganda, we lose. We are losing the propaganda war right now. That's why I'm saying it. Putin In terms of propaganda, Putin is winning. You have to end this. It is possible. Solidarity, the solidarity movement proved that it's possible. And Europe also proved that it's pos has proven that it's possible to unite into one, uh, one organization. What other proofs do you need? And look at... Uh, Polish-Ukrainian relations. We also used to fight each other, just like Russia and, and Ukraine are fighting each other now. And look, today we opened up um, um, to them, we, uh, we welcomed them throughout Poland. And this type of change can, this type of change can happen through propaganda methods, if it's the right, if the right approach is used. Of course, it's not going to happen to overnight. Może, może Maybe it will take years. Ale to musi but this has to work. Tylko Just pokazywania. choose simple messaging methods. Nie ma, simple... Nie ma mocnych Rosjan, tak. Jak pan mu pokaże sąsiadka twoja już nie ma jej. Yes, the, you know, the, there are, um, uh, you know, we, we can, we need to be addressing individual Russians, the, the, the Russian whose neighbor's son died. And then there's another Russian guy who used to go have beer with some friend and now that friend is dead too. Prost. We need to find those Russians Prost. and address Prost. them. Prost. These are simple methods of struggle. I do tego namawiam je. Wiem, że to będzie trafne. I keep... Wiem, że to będzie trafne. I keep advocating this. I know this will be a good solution. Bo te metody siłowe to były, kiedyś były w historii dobre, ale teraz nie. Yes, because using weapons and power was successful in the past, but it won't be again. Mówiłem Państwu, że gdybym ja walczył takimi metodami, bym nigdy nie wygrał. As I said, if I tried to fight communism with weapons, uh, nobody would help me and I would never have won. Jestem chodzącym dowodem I metod a, walki nowych. I am, so I'm your walking proof of how to do it. Time for one more. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. President, uh, John Rossamata with Newsmax. You've been uh, an inspiration for me throughout my, uh, th throughout my entire life. I wanted to ask you if, what recommendations you would have for uh, people uh, struggling in places like Iran, China, who are facing what you faced 40 years ago, uh, because they're helping the Russians and uh, the war. So. What, sh what can the United States, or should the United States uh, do to help those people, the way that uh, Reagan helped you? Use simple methods. First of all, America is still a global power. There are some topics that are global. No to who, has to, 
who else can solve them but America? Do I have to make a list of proofs? Po starej epoce jeszcze zostały dyktatury i różne państwa. Yes, there are some dictatorships that have been left from the previous world order. Cały świat poszukuje. And the whole world is looking for solutions. Nawet popatrzcie w Stanach, przykujecie się do wyborów, jakie są niebezpieczeństwa, widzicie je. Even here in the United States, as you prepare for elections, you see what what challenges, what threats are emerging. A tylko dlatego, że nie przygotowaliście rozwiązań na te czasy. Only because you haven't prepared solutions in advance. I demagodzy populiści sięgają po władzę. Demagogues and populists are trying to come to power because of it. Podpalą nam świat, podpalą nam Stany. And they will burn America and the world. Jeśli mądrzy ludzie nie wezmą się za dyskusję i za poszukiwanie rozwiązań pasujących na te czasy. If wise people don't come to consensus on the right solutions for the new times. Zbliżamy się do, do, do pewnej wysokości niebezpiecznej. We, we are reaching a very dangerous height. A tylko dlatego, że nie ma rozwiązań. At this height, at this high level, nie wyprzedzamy rozwiązania. We are not producing solutions in advance. Że niebezpieczeństwa pojawiają się, a rozwiązań brak. Threats emerge and no solutions appear to solve them. I albo się poddamy i trudno. If we give up, albo bierzemy się do roboty. If we give up, then yes, we can all just give up. If we give up, then yes, we can all just give up. If we give up, then yes, we can all just give up. If we give up, then yes, we can all just give up. Otherwise, let's get to work. Lepszych, mądrzejszych rozwiązań nie ma. There are no better solutions. Znaleźliśmy się w epoce dyskusji, słowa i no jak to ma być wyglądać wszystko. We are at this epoch of discussion and word. Word of discussion about how to solve these new problems. Technologia wymaga większych struktur. Technology requires us to apply larger, more broader Państewka, kraje na Europie widać nie, nie są w stanie funkcjonować. nation states are unable to function on their own. W Europie musimy przejść na in państwo Europe, Europa. In Europe we must transition to one big European state. Nie we wszystkich tematach. Not in all. Ale te, które rozwiązaniami areas, muszą być większe. But in some areas of policy, this has to be continent-wide. I praktycznie to widać. You see that from practical standpoint. Są tematy globalne i są tematy regionalne. There are some regional and there are some global problems. A my wciąż państewka. And we keep thinking in terms of individual nation states. Wciąż jakaś lewica, stara prawica. People talk about the old left, the old right. Jakieś państwa, jakieś partie religijne. There are some religious parties. To w ogóle nie pasuje na te czasy. All these party systems don't fit the current times. Nie zdążyliśmy przerobić. We haven't really caught up with progress. A najgorsze, że nikt nie przerabia. Tylko czekamy na trzęsienia ziemi. And nobody is really transforming these systems. We're just awaiting another earthquake. I to jest dramat. That is the, the drama. Gdybym ja miał wasze wykrzycenia, wasze pieniądze, to ja bym pociągnął to. Oh, if I had your money, if I had your resources, I would make sure it's all done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Mr. President, it has been a, a real honor and privilege to have you here at CSIS to, to meet you. Uh, I want to thank you for being here. I also want to thank Marcin, the translator, who has probably had the hardest job uh, today, uh, who's done an outstanding job. Learn Polish, it'll be easier. <laughs> <laughs> that will be our homework for, for everyone. Please join me in thanking. <laughs>